Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and you are watching Ajaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to part 29 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we, are, uh, we successfully create this uh, header section but we forget to add some borders from here so how can we do that so simply i'm coming back into the style of css and from here we are going to target the title tag here it is so we set the border from the right uh, one pixel solid rgba 0 0 0 0 0.2 and let's see the output what we have here so there is not no output coming from here we need to refresh that uh, oh sorry clearing the history from here so clear the data from here refresh it so you can see that now we have a border here you can see that so we need to set the box sizing border box property here refresh it again so you can see that now we have perfect output as the same way we need to put that it from the menu so we are simply going to the copy from here paste that one from here and let's again refresh this one so you can see that perfect way to coming the border from here and let's say uh, Again, paste that border. From here, refresh it again and check it what we have here. So you can see that now also we have a here border. I'm going to zoom it so you can see that. You can see that? Just see. Here is the border are available now. As the same way, we are going to use that border into the cart section. From here. So let's see and also let's add it from here refresh it so you can see that we have a perfect border from here or from all side so now <coughs> what we are going to done here we need to add our images from here slider image so come back again into the source code and here we are going to create a control plus n with a new file and create one new with the id equal to slider close that new from here control plus s to save and we will save this file with the slider.php and we will save this file inside our main website inc folder save it from here okay so now we are going to the style.css and here we are going to target the slider view with the width equal to 100% and height will be 300 pixel in the same way let's first of all put the image from there so simply I'm going to create one image tag with the src and we say that uh, imgs slash slider slash one dot jpg so now we are going to our folder and here is the images folder and here just look at here I paste some images from here into the my slider slider folder so I'm going to target that first image so let's see how we have our output here so nothing is coming from here just because we doesn't add that into the slider uh, main website or sorry index.php so we are going to copy this one from here Paste that one from here and we said slider dot php we are going to refresh that one so you can see that the image is coming but is uh, that image is not come with the sp uh, complete height and width so we need to tar uh, design with the height and width uh, so slider have some image then we have as same height and width as we have our main slider new width okay so you can see that 
and it is uh, too much too small so we need to fix it out with the 350 pixel 350 pixel refresh it okay let's see our main website how it's look like so localhost e-learning okay this image size is too big i think yes 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 that image size is too big 400 pixel and here also we use a 400 pixel save it refresh it yeah i think this is now perfect okay so the next task is you can see that this uh we need to fix this size you can see that here so i can do this simply i'm again coming to the my upper up header section and here i'm going to set the padding from left 5% and padding from right 5% and it's box sizing will be border box <coughs> okay so now what we are going to do here just simply we will remove this 33 with the 30 just because the 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and 30 30 and 30 means 90 okay and 90 plus 10 which means 100 percent height is fixed now okay so let's see the output what we have here now refresh it so you can see that the output is perfectly coming and just we need to set it this with the right side so how can we do that so simply i'm come back here and going to slog and text align right we, we need to set it from cut it from here paste that one from here refresh that one nothing is going to happening here let's see the background first of all so we can understand easily background has zero 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 let's refresh it so you can see that the five percent slope 30 percent let's also check the background of our main link zero 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 refresh it so you can see that 5% pixel is perfectly coming uh, what the padding is coming from here yeah, yeah yeah just because margin left 50% yes and the same way we use here just look at here margin left 13 uh, margin right 13% so let's see okay now it's looking very good perfect but this is uh, so big space up header 5% 5% link 50% 33 yeah yeah, yeah. let's uh, let's uh, do with the 33% and let's check out the output okay now i think this is in a perfect way okay so let's remove the background now remove background from here and also from here and let's save it and refresh that and see what we have here so you can see that now it's looking very good and perfect way and the same way if we if we increase the height uh, sorry padding from the left side and from the right side 77 percent and see what we have here refresh it so you can see that now it's looking very good as same way we have here okay so guys i think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we will meet you in next video in next video we are going to working on this uh, category section from here so we will meet you in next tutorial stay connected with me stay tuned thanks all for watching guys goodbye